Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will quickly look at the differences between information security and cybersecurity. But before we proceed, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow if you haven't already. Also, do hit the like and the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new video. All right, let's get rolling. Cybersecurity and information security are often used interchangeably. Although different organizations or companies tend to use technology for their own purposes, there are some important distinctions between cybersecurity and information security. Information security deals with information regardless of its formats. It includes paper document, digital, intellectual property in people's minds, and verbal or visual communication. This is how ISACA CXX Fundamental explain information security. Information security is concerned with making sure data in any form is kept secure and is a bit broader than cybersecurity. Information security is also concerned with the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data in any form. And finally, information security personnel's job is to protect their company's data from unauthorized access of any form. Whereas cybersecurity is concerned with protecting digital assets, everything from the networks to hardware and information that is processed, stored, or transported by internet network of information system. Cybersecurity is the protection of data that is found in electronic form, such as computer, servers, database, mobile devices, and so on, from being compromised or hacked. Cybersecurity plays a significant role in today's ever-evolving cyber landscape, as more and more organizations and corporations are processing, storing, and transporting data and information across the internet. Cybersecurity personnel's job is to protect the organization's digital data from unauthorized electronic access. This is the key, digital data. So more or less, you see cybersecurity is like a subset of information security. Information security is very broad. It deals with everything from intellectual property, uh, written information, visual communication, or audio communication, everything that pertains to the company you know, that needs protection, you know, be it on a paper form or uh, electronic form, everything deals with what information security. But then again, when we talk about cybersecurity, we're looking at just the digital data, data that is being stored, processed, or transported through the internet. This is what cybersecurity is concerned about, all right? But then again, we use these terminologies interchangeably. You know, some people will be saying information security, if they want to refer to cybersecurity or they'll be saying cybersecurity if in actual sense they're actually referring to information security but then again as a, as a cybersecurity or information security for professional if you know the subtle difference between the two you know it helps you to kind of understand when people are talking you can actually talk on a, on a position of authority that okay this is what should have been said you know so but then again you realize that now in this day and age information security is a lot of work you have to protect everything from confidential information that is being written on you know on the paper document or folder file and everything that's why we have all this level of uh, clearances you know some information you know you cannot you're not required to read if you don't have the appropriate security clearance. And that's why we have a lot of uh, uh, models, information security models like the Bell Lapadula model that calls for no read up and no write down, and as well as the Biba integrity model, no read down, no write up, right? So that's some of the models that we will be talking about in our next video. But you understand that information security, the key concept here is that Understanding that information security is broader than cybersecurity because it deals with everything that needs protection, regardless of the form the information is being stored. Understanding the key business, that is the nature of business, the risk tolerance, etc., and the technology factor, the complexity, the new or emerging security tools and technology that affect cybersecurity and information security is central to achieving situational awareness to become an excellent information security or cybersecurity professional. So what this is saying is that if you are working as a security professional, the number one thing you need to do is to understand the key business. What is the nature of your business? And what is the risk tolerance of your business? You know, um, can you, you know, what is the threat? What are the vulnerable, what are what are the threats that you know your business face? What are the risks that your business face? You know, 
so these are some of the things that you should understand. Know your key business, you know, know the type of business that you are in and understand the threat and the risk that are associated with this kind of business. And also the technology factor. Know what kind of complexity, what kind of emerging security tools and technology affects your business. Are you going to be in a, uh, in a business where you need to be constantly abreast with the new technology? For instance, you know, uh, if you're in a infrastructure, you know, unit of a cybersecurity or unit of our information technology, you know, you, you might want to be concerned with what kind of, uh, what version of servers do you have? Do you have a server that is not being supported by the vendor anymore? You know, these are some of the things that if you rely on the server, the database to process your data, uh, to process your information and data, you have to make sure you have the right, you know, model version of the software and hardware. If the vendors are not, support, are not supporting this hardware anymore, I think it's time for you to change it and stuff like that. So, But if you don't understand the nature of your business and uh, the technology factor that affects your business, you wouldn't be able to make a right call. All right, guys, that's it for this short video. If you find this video useful, do like, share, and subscribe. If you have not subscribed already, please do comment below and let me know your thought on this video, and I'll see you in the next video.